Good evening, and here is the weather. Let's take a look at the weather. Well, some wintry showers to western Scotland, Northern Ireland, as the overnight rain clears away. But so northwesterly wind keeps us cool. This will get some brighter stuff moving into Wales and the southwest. Some sunshine. But central and eastern areas, no, it's not particularly a bright start. It's a brighter start, but there's still a lot of cloud around. But there will be some sunshine, hopefully getting through during the afternoon. Some of those showers will start to be pushed along on this uh, blustery wind and become a little bit further inland. They're going to be quite heavy but downpours as well at times. Possibly even some thunder as well. <laughs> the temperatures today, you'll notice a big difference. They're between about 18 and 22 around the coast. Scorching highs up to about 23, 26 inland. That's 79 degrees in Fahrenheit. This is what tonight looks like rain across the southern counties it's rather miserable the wind's picking up as well showers should die down though up in scotland uh, leading to a clear night with some frost temperatures are between 10 and 11 so quite a mild night and by tomorrow it's yet again another scorching weekend ahead el scotchard Good morning. These are the main stories on Thursday, the 17th of August. A red alert continues to send shockwaves around the world. Girl power gets a grip in the classroom. And midsummer madness costs rioters a hybrid ban. The eyes of the world are on Russian leader Vladimir Putin, who took five days to admit he needed help to save a nuclear sub in distress. Joining me now is Ian Callum, and he is the brains behind the styling of this fantastic brand new Aston Martin Vanquish. Now, Ian, thank you for joining us. I want you to tell me you've got your pencil and paper in your hand. How long does it take to get from the paper to this finished result? Well, from, from pencil to the finished shape actually only took us seven weeks. But first, rather like a car, you have to learn how to drive them. Shit! <laughs> Also, some strong southerly winds, which could get up to gale force at times, so a fairly wild old night. Into tomorrow morning, that rain is moving south and eastwards throughout the day, quite slowly and painfully, so it looks like we're all going to get a bit wet during tomorrow. And on Wednesday, we're going to see yet again more wet and windy stuff into the north and west, but mostly dry and fine with some sunshine elsewhere. It's a mixed bag, isn't it? Mm, nice hat. I was talking about the weather. Uh, Tanya will be back with a full weather outlook just before half past six. Sometimes blows your brolly inside out. It's a day for fighting with the brolly or preferably leaving it at home and sticking a coat with a hat on instead. I fight with the brolly simply because it's comical. Um, the, the, it looked like that. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> um, oh, I'm fine, yes. Now, there we go. Um, that's what's happened. Uh, so. The rest of the weather today is that uh, the rain will be moving up. Now, let's look at the temperatures. So, as you can see, it's a very wild day. The temperatures are between 8 and 12 degrees. Now, there'll be hardly any wind around apart from a cooling sea breeze along the coasts. That's the weather. Good night.